Hello, this is Jonathan with Wrestling Talk in the Shop. And today, I pulled a piece of my collection and it is a vintage 1978, or 1979, excuse me, WWF program from Madison Square Garden. Of course, I mean, I'd like to tell you I picked this up in the wild, but I didn't, I bought it on eBay. Because wrestling collectibles are hard to find. There's not a lot of people around Northeast Texas that collect wrestling memorabilia. <laughs> Occasionally you do, but I picked this up. It has a nice shot of Bruno with a WWF title on it. A living legend. Held the title for eight years, seven, eight years at one time. But anyway, we'll go through it. Here's another close shot of it. You know. It'll cost a dollar. Monday night, February 19th, 1979. There's a nice shot of Greg the Hammer Valentine. Very young Greg Valentine. Can you see it? <laughs> this has different programs that are pictures I assume of last last thing. Oh, you're gonna look through it, right? That's what we're doing. Young Bob Backlund and Arnold Scorland. The magazines cost, these wrestling news magazines costed $2 each back then. And here's a match card for the heavyweight championship of the world. It was Bob Backlund versus Greg Valentine. Ivan Koloff versus Bruno San Martino. Ivan Pusky versus Victor Rivera, or whatever <laughs> that is. Rivera. Rivera. <clears throat> and then this goes on and on after that. Chief Peter yeah. Maivia, that's that's Ken Folks of the Rock there. Channel 9. Nice shots there. Nice. Captain Lou Albano. Nice shot of Bruno. There it is. And I'm going to frame this up eventually. I just wanted to kind of take it out and show you guys what it was. I like all wrestling. This stuff is fascinating to me. Around the mat world. They're trying to push you people not to mess with the wrestlers. Yeah. For your own <laughs> safety and protection, please avoid physical contact with these wrestlers. Please remain in your seats and keep the aisles clear when the wrestlers are walking to and from the ring. The police officers in attendance will strictly enforce this rule. Violators will be prosecuted. Since early management. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. You would never see that in anything today. Nowadays, the fans could probably take the wrestlers. <laughs> and again, this is cost a dollar. I assume was a significant amount of money in 1979. I wasn't here. It was before my time. Look and see who that president of the WWF, WWWF is. Very cool. Inexpensive pickup on eBay. What'd you pay for it on eBay? Uh, maybe 20 bucks shipped and all. I consider that inexpensive for anything from 1979. I mean, I, <sighs> I eventually is to put all, I've got a bunch of different programs and stuff. I'm going to put them all on that wall. It's hard to display everything that you have. This is a, another one of my latest pickups over here in the corner. The Kingdom. Like and follow for more wrestling content.